I was writing a novel um, called The Last Runaway, and it was set in 19th century Ohio. I was looking into what women did with their hands in their leisure time, and quilting became an obvious answer. So I decided to have my main character be a quilter, and then I thought, you know, if I'm gonna write about this, I really need to do it a bit myself. It uses a completely different part of my brain, and I love that about it. Come on, come through. I prefer to write longhand. Uh, I, I write in notebooks and then every few days I type what I've written into the computer. Um, I just prefer writing with a pen and paper because it feels closer to me. The problem with writing something on the computer is that you, you know, it looks so pretty. It looks so done. Um, so uh, it, it's somehow you read through it. I mean, I've learned not to, but you read through it and think, oh, yeah, this looks okay. It looks kind of typeset. It almost looks published. And this is not typeset or published. This is very messy. And that's kind of how I think. These are all different fabrics that are, are some of them are from my own life. Um, I was a bit of a hippie when I was a teenager, and I had this sundress that was black with purple stars on it. So that's that bit there. The black with pearl. It's so, it's so faded that it's gray now. I wore it so much. And then the bottom bit was this kind of North African market scene where there's somewhere around here there's some fantastic legs from the, from the market. I grew up in a much more innocent time and I think I I just would like to find a way to get back to that, to help people to get back to that. So you can't quilt when you're angry. You can't sew when you're angry, you have to be calm. I went to Wandsworth Prison to talk to the guys about quilts and quilting, and we ended up doing a project together. It was really, really satisfying, and it was so cool to see these guys you know, these big beefy guys who are doing a lot of weights and have a lot of tattoos and who knows what they've been in for. I never ask, it's better not to. But they, um, they make these beautiful things. Every now and then I think, oh yeah, back when I wrote Girl with a Pearl Earring, nobody knew what I was doing, nobody expected anything from me. And they're just every now and then I think, oh, it'd be so nice to, be fresh and innocent again. And instead I'm that kind of jaded old writer, <laughs> just cranking him out. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.